Many years ago, I came to Cappadocia, exploring many of the ancient settlements, Catholic churches, and monasteries in and around the Valley of Iglar. It was here where I discovered some artwork left by the Romans. Of course, there are other places where the Romans had left artwork of what I had discovered, but these were not the usual murals that you see every day, because these contained dinosaurs. And people do not realize that we still live with some dinosaurs, such as the Komodo dragon, living in Indonesia, Brunei, and Malaysia. However, because these dinosaurs are so dangerous, we killed off almost all of them. Even the Komodo dragon's venom can prevent the blood from clotting and can die from loss of blood. It was here at the Selim Monastery where I was to make my discovery. The monastery is said to have been built between the 8th and the 9th century after Christ. Unfortunately, part of the monastery is destroyed on the upper levels due to earthquakes in the region, but perhaps by war as well. In the 10th or the 11th century, the monastery was converted into a caravanserai for travelers and tradesmen, and by the 16th century, the monastery was abandoned. Wandering around, I went through many of the tunnels and rooms, looking at all the murals of the Catholic iconography painted on the walls. I noticed that every single room was planned ahead of time, the arches, the shelves, the tables, and the permanent seating. And as I came around one corner, there were two bas-relief dinosaurs, about seven feet from the floor above my head. The bass reliefs were made with the room coming off the wall a few inches and then covered with plaster and paint. As you can see, some of the paint for the eye and the snout for the one on the right is still visible. They appeared to be Vulcanodon dinosaurs, which suits their name well here, considering that the wall is made from volcanic tuff. Unfortunately, the one on the left is not as preserved as the one on the right due to the age of it, earthquakes, and treasure hunters. After first discovering them many years ago, I went down to the village to talk with some of the locals about them. But no one knew about them, so I concealed them, as to protect them from someone trying to destroy them or remove them thinking that they would be paid a large sum of money for them. And these were the reasons why I kept them hidden until now.